Hi, my name is Paul and I'm one of the sports officers for DLR Leisure. In today's video we're going to show you some exercises that you can play with footballs at home to keep the kids active during this time. We're going to practice throwing, catching and bouncing. So the first exercise we're going to do, we have a little ball here. It can be a large ball, it can be a small ball. Our first exercise is going to be throwing and catching with two hands. So position is on your own, holding a ball, throwing it up, catch with two hands. Throw it up, catch with two hands, throw it up catching with two hands, two hands underneath. So last time, up and catch. You normally spend about a couple of minutes on that before the kids get bored. If they need longer, by all means spend longer. But just working on hand-eye coordination, watching the ball and having the hands underneath the ball. To progress on from that, we'll use one hand. Throw the ball up, catch with one hand. Throw the ball up, catch with one hand. Throw it up, catch with one hand. So we've made it slightly bit more difficult by eliminating two hands and focusing on one. Again, this works on hand-eye coordination. To make this exercise a little bit more difficult and challenging for kids is we throw the ball up and shout which hand to catch it with. So we up left, catch it with your left. Throw it up right, catch it with your right. So again, it's getting the brain senses working and it's just going from just throwing it side to side to listen to a reaction call. Up left, up right, and you're catching it in one hand. Okay, that's just a bit of variation that you can do. So instead of standing still, we can progress them by walking. So a simple exercise is walking and catching. So this way here. Again, now you're keeping the kids moving as you're throwing. So you're introducing the walking element. Walking, catching, throwing. Walking, catching, throwing. Do that with two hands. The rest to do with one hand. Up, one hand. Up, one hand. Up, one hand. And it's very important they have a lot of space as well when they're doing that. That's one exercise for this. So we're going to move on to the next exercise we do is the larger ball here, doing some bouncing. So for the bouncing exercise, hands out, watch the ball, bounce, catch, two hands. Bounce, catch, two hands. Watching the ball all the time, the higher you throw it, the higher it goes. Bounce, catch. Okay, last time, bounce and catch. Okay. From there, we can use some mobility exercises for kids as well to make them more mobile. Bring them around, ball around, moving our hips, change direction. So a little game you can do with children is have them bring the ball around, switch, and back around. Switch, back around. Good one for coordination is having the legs apart and going side, watching the ball and around, figure of eight, and around, and around. Combining the two exercises, we can go around, down, up, and around. That's more for the older age group to develop the coordination. For the younger age group, three years, probably six, this will be more than sufficient to get them more mobile and taking their time. Progressing on then, you could six to eight year olds, possibly do this one and then for the older age group combine everything around okay so last time a little exercise for the older age group ball here so it's bounce catch throw catch so we're combining the throwing and the bouncing combining everything for coordination so last time bounce catch throw catch bounce catch throw catch Okay, so that's just a few exercises that children can do with the ball when they're at home. Again, you can vary the exercises, make them more difficult or make them more easier. So thanks for watching and hope you'll be able to try that out when you get home. Thanks very much.